Now that the funding requests have been reviewed, it's time to look at the process for awarding or declining. Let's see how this is done in the Salesforce Grants Management System. Let's first click on the tab called Funding Requests and change the view to Reviewed Funding Requests. So this will show me all the applications that have been reviewed and that are ready to be awarded or declined. I like to change the display to Split View, uh, which allows me to go down the list you know, one application or one request at a time. Let's click on the first one, sp Raising Special Kids. We have decided to award this grant. So I will first click on Awarded here and uh, specify the awarded date, the awarded amount, click Save, and then click Mark as Current Status. Um, so here's one. Uh, if I refresh the view on the left side, um, I see that I have one more grant that I need to process. Uh, so let's click on that. This one has been reviewed. Uh, unfortunately, we've decided to decline this application. So let's click on decline, specify the reason, oh, specify, I'm sorry, the date uh, we are declining and the reason. So let's say mission fit. Um, right now, in our example, this is uh, a text box, but you know it could be it could be a drop down if you have uh, specific reasons you would like to choose from. Let's click on save, and then mark as current status. Uh, so this one has been declined. Um, in this scenario, in the scenario of a decline, uh, the next step would be to communicate the decision to the grantee. How, as this is specified here in the guidance uh, area. Um, this could be done, you know, however you want. It could be done, obviously, you know, manually. If you want to give them a call, send them a letter. You can also have the system generate an email if you would like to. Uh, so that's the scenario uh, of a decline. Let's talk about the scenario of awarded uh, grants. So I could change the view here to awarded funding requests so that I can see all those grants that have been awarded. Um, and so. Uh, let's open one uh, specific application. Um, so this application from Raising Special Kids. And what we will first do is schedule payments for uh, this grant. You can do that with the button uh, Create Disbursements. So I can, uh, using this pop-up uh, screen, I can specify the number of disbursements. I can specify the period. So once a year, I can specify when the first payment will go out. So we'll say it's going to be next Friday and click Calculate. And the system will uh, split the payments in two and uh, set the dates accordingly. Uh, you can change the payments amount if you wanted to. If you don't want to split evenly, click Save. This is going to create uh, the payments or disbursements under this grant. So there we are. Um, the next step would be to, do, um, to create the grant uh, the grantee reports or requirements. Um, so you can do that manually by clicking the new button and creating as many of those requirements as you want. Uh, once this is done, the final step of the award process, if you will, is to generate a grant ag agree agreement, the grant agreement. Um, you could do that using the button generate agreement, which is going to generate the agreement um, dynamically. Um, and this agreement can be sent for electronic, electronic signature to the grantee if you would like to. Uh, so this concludes the overview of the award or decline process. Thank you very much.